Today we are going to install Audacity on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and we're going to record the session with the simple screen recorder. What you do first is click on your Raspberry, go down to Preferences, then Add Remove Software. Click on that, it'll open up the window for the Add Remove Software. Type in Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, Enter. And then I'll give you a list of packages back that actually can run Audacity. As it's doing this, the audio is being recorded on this by the re-speaker, which I did in a video or two prior to this. You can see that the first choice on here is Audacity. We will click the box for that, and then click on Apply. This will install the program, and since we already know that the audio is working on this, it will install all of the additional packages that go with it. Just click on continue for that. Give it your root password. Hit enter. It'll finish everything up. And when you're done you can click on OK. Now the nice thing about Audacity is it allows me to do podcasts and other recordings that I normally do on my Linux Mint machine. But it's been working so well lately on the Linux Mint, I thought I'd give it a try here on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, and I've been very pleased with the results. So in using both a Simple Screen Recorder and Audacity, you can get a lot of work done for teaching others how to do things on the Raspberry Pi. And it just again shows what kind of an excellent platform this is for doing work on an ultra cheap computer. I look forward to trying this out on other PCs which I have ordered very soon here coming in. One of them uh, I got coming in is from Adam Industries and I have an Odroid coming in and a couple other good projects that we'll be seeing here in the near future trying these different programs on them and just seeing how they go. So far as all of you can guess the Raspberry Pi is just my favorite because it has the best community support and the best base of people in the community to get things done. So this is pretty much finishing up on the packages for Audacity to get running here. We'll be finished in a moment and then we'll click on OK. Yeah, it may take more in a moment. There we go, we're all set. Click on OK. You go back up to your Raspberry and then you can take a look at your sound and video. And you can see that Audacity is now installed, along with the simple screen recorder from the previous video. If you click on Audacity, it'll fire off the actual program. And like I said, it works pretty good on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. I just wanted to go through everything and show you the different parts of how this works. Audacity is its own program in itself. It's a very in-depth, free, easy-to-use program for doing your recordings. So, if that's something that interests you, or podcasts, or anything along those lines, you might want to give Audacity a shot. Thanks. Talk to you later.